and you know it's just I don't know what, really what to say I'm ecstatic inside I'm trying to calm it down now to do this did you get the puck did they give you the puck yes awesome awesome what are you gonna do with it sorry Kevin uh well I don't know we'll see you know it's for safekeeping and just uh, as, a, as a memory down to down my life you know it's always something I can look back to Thank you. Never do it before as a kid, maybe? Or? No, I hit the post in juniors. Uh, that was a bad try, though. But um, no, it's I, it's one of the dreams that I always had that I wanted to score a goal, and now I had the you know had the opportunity. I tried to win the classic, didn't really make it, and now it was just a you know everything came together with how uh, how we went. Did you ever have it in your head? Did you have it in your head that if it ever happened, you'd go to the bench for the? <laughs> no, it was actually. That was, uh, I don't know who it was, but it was someone in, in the pile there that told me, you got to go to the bench, you got to go to the bench. Um, so I, I appreciate that uh, gesture from them. Were you confident the whole time that the puck was going to go in? No, I thought they went in my own net first, actually. Because <laughs> um, I didn't see it. As soon as I shot, I see three guys jumping at, uh, towards me. And I had no idea where it was. You know, I didn't hear anything, I didn't see anything, you know. And then you kind of get a, uh, become a little bit more aware of what's happening, that the guys are starting looking up ice. And then I see it twer going towards the net, and the rest is history. Could you describe, if it is difficult at all, but the level of difficulty of with a goalie paddle shooting it across the ice with accuracy? Mm, yeah, I mean, it's we're not really in a position where we're used to having a lot of pressure on us. Right. You know, we try to make it keep it simple, make the first good pass, and, and that's it. You know, we we. Uh, we're goalies for a reason, we're not players, uh, so whenever we have the opportunity to put it on a player's stick, that's what you want to do. Um, but then we had this opportunity now that even if I missed, uh, I think I think I saw Pasta up high, so he could get it and, and put it in as well. And, uh, you know, that's, you know I, kudos to him, he, he read that perfectly in case uh, I missed. What's the first goalie goal you, you remember seeing? What's that? What's the first goalie goalie you remember seeing on like as a little kid? Also? Oh, the first? Uh, I mean, I've seen I've seen numbers like I've seen Hextall, seen seen Brodeurs, um, Pecarines, last one, you know, and uh, exactly Junior got back on me Sweden that scored during late or earlier this week, so I, I got uh, pretty jealous of him that he managed to do it at such a young age. Um, so, but now I can always look back at it that I managed to do it. I mean, it's a pretty short list. You're the eighth goalie in the NHL history to shoot a puck into the net. What does it mean to be on that? That's pretty cool. And that was pretty. Uh, the guys that has half score a goal in, in this league is terrific goaltenders that went down into the Hall of Fame as well. And, you know, it's. I can't really. It's hard to describe what I'm feeling right now. It's. it's I have to kind of digest it all. Um, I'm just so. Bloody happy. <laughs> and and a night when you get 30 wins for the first time in your career, cherry on Did top. I? <laughs> That's a nice, nice little bonus, I gotta say. Um, yeah, you know, the, it's just how we played all season long. You know, it's, it's not a one-man show or anything like that. We're very, we come together as a family, as a group, and we, we have each other's backs. That, and it doesn't matter what we're facing, you know, we can, we know that we can win 6-5, we know we can win 1-0.